Can your face tell you more about who you are as a person? Well, I have seen that it can and it actually does. I have a very type 3 face. There are four types in my energy profiling system. And today we're going to look at what is facial profiling and how that expresses in each of the four types. Hi, I'm Carol Tuttle, the best-selling author of the book, It's Just My Nature, where I teach energy profiling. I also am the author of The Child Whisperer, where I teach how to apply this to parenting. It's a best, They're both bestsellers, and I'm here to help you live your authentic life, because when you live in alignment with your true energy, life aligns with you. So what is facial profiling? Facial profiling is the most accurate assessment tool in my energy profiling body of work. You can look at personality, you can look at your character traits, you can look at what you do in the world, but it will not be the most correct assessment. We will make changes in who we are to accommodate other people, scenarios, and situations. Our faces, our body language, even our hands, but we're just going to talk about faces today, are all accurate expressions of our true nature. Why is that? Well, because energy profiling is a study of movement. Our faces express lines, shapes, and overall movement that are correct to our type. And we're going to show you faces of each of the four types, and I want you to see the similarities between them. We'll show three faces of women for each type, and I'm going to just look at the similarities. Then your next step after this introduction to what is facial profiling, you can go watch my video series that we have available for free. There are two series, one for adult women, facial profiling for each. There's four videos, each of the four types. And then we have facial profiling for children, how to profile a child's face. And then you may be asking, well, what about the men? We do have facial profiling for men in my Dressing Your Truth for Men course. You can find that there, but the same principles and methodology applies to male, female, child, because guess what? The same movement, I can profile dogs, horses, trees, flowers, anything in nature because of its movement. The line shapes and the quality of movement it expresses will align with one of the four types. Everything in the world expresses these four movements and they do it in combination. We have all four types expressing through us, but we look at our faces to know our dominant type as the most accurate assessment tool. So if you've bypassed that, you gotta come back to that as the reference to who you are. I know people will say, well, my face says this about me, but I act this way, which is a different type. And I say, well, you learn to act that way, where your face is going to be more accurate of who you are. And so let's look at each of these faces and what are we seeing? So somebody asks what facial profiling is. You're going to go, it's the study of line shapes and movement of a face that tells us a lot about who we are as a person. Now this is type one. And type one is that upward light, fresh, bright, animated movement. We're looking for stars heart shapes, star points, circles, and an upward light quality fresh in their face. And so when we do facial profiling, we will look at individual features like foreheads, eyebrows, eyes, nose, nostrils, mouth, jaw lines, teeth even. Yet if you look at each of those and profile them individually, it gets a little convoluted in your mind because it's you're separating all these features. I will first get a hit and see something in someone with the overall movement. So when you look at these three faces together, the overall movement is bright, upward, light, animated. You know, these women, some of them are in their 50s. And they just look fresh and alive and youthful. We see star points and noses, circles and nostrils, circles around the eyes, upward light movement, the little kind of beauty marks on the complexion. And we see that in their faces. And then you can look, take apart, and like I just did, and look at individual features. All upward light, and there's a congruency in what you're seeing. Now when we look at type two, the movement moves downward. And we've got, moving a paper here. Here, that's all the rustling you're hearing. You see a softer, subtle, relaxed, what I call a melting, 
melting and a cascading downward softened quality. The jawline's not as distinct. It's blended in more to the neckline. You see sloping, um, kind of a nose that slopes a little bit downward, that cascading eyebrow that, and the, um, the different, the hooded eyelid, the gentle smile, the subtle relaxed folding of the skin up and over the nose bridge. Can you see the similarities in their movement in their face? So this is, they're all really beautiful type two women that have that same quality of overall movement in their features. Then we, I'm a type three. So when we move to type three, you're gonna see a more intensity in the face, more texture, more smile lines, more dynamic movements, swift angles. You see that kind of overall, the intense, intensity is the best word for me to describe the movement where we had sort of bright for type one, we had soft for type two, we have more intensity for type three. You can see it when you, the overall profile is intensity. And then you can see that there's a uh, quality of point, really deep points, angles, multiple smile lines, deeper nasal labial, labial fold lines. Those are the lines around the mouth, deep inner points on each side of the eye, swift upward moving eyebrows. And when they're dressing your truth, every woman, we're matching the movement on your body with the clothing you're wearing and then with your hairstyle to really frame the features of your face to be complementary, so that it's really, it actually brings alive more beauty as we're matching your own beauty. Then we move to type four. That's We've got that linear, structured, symmetrical movement, reflective in quality. And I want you to first notice how they all have a very straight sort of holding themselves at attention with their heads poised, just upward, shoulders back. There's this poise quality that they present and more uh, reflective in nature. So I'm going to go with poised for my word. So we've got bright, soft, intensity, and poised. And look how, you know, these are their after pictures. These are all women we did before and afters with. And they look stunning, stunning in their quality of beauty and just that the, the regalness that they have and the way they hold themselves. We see it in the ways their eyes are set on a straight line. They have really straight lines on the side of their face. They have a mirroring effect. Their features are symmetrical and very well placed. They have a clean, defined jawline. We call it sculpted features. Their cheekbone, high cheek, cheekbone mirrors their jawline. So we just, again, see all of this shape line and movement that is true to their type. Now, what does that say about who you are? Well, type ones have a bright energy. They're optimistic by nature. Type twos have a gentle energy. They're more calming by nature. They're very sensitive. Type threes, they're intense. They have a more determined nature. Type fours are poised. They have a very reflective, uh, precise nature. So yes, does our face have indicators of our attributes and who we are as a human? Very much so. And that's true for every living thing on this planet. Human nature is a subset of the world and um, the experience of nature. We're just a part of God's creations that express a natural quality of movement through us. We're born with it. I'm asked that a lot. Can your type change? No, we're born with it. That's why I wrote the Child Whispers, so that you can raise your children true to it, so they don't have a conflict and live in contradiction to it. So go watch those other face profiling videos. Now you're gonna, we'll get more specific by showing you the features very specifically and how the movement expresses. We even draw lines on the features, so it's kind of fun to watch. Watch them for the adult version and then watch them for the children's. And you're gonna start getting this to say there's a pattern here. And you're gonna get it, um, where you mess up is when you dissect it all and try and pro again i get my first hit and then i look for it in the features one thing we do in my lifestyle community in the lifestyle membership twice a month we do what's called truth bomb confirmations when you're an annual member and you're eligible if you've been an annual member for at least three months or you have paid for a 
monthly membership for the extension of 12 months, you're now eligible to get a truth bomb and that is a confirmation of your type. And we invite people that really need support. They're just kind of lost. They can't see themselves. They're conflicted and they need that clarity. So what we do is six women twice a month, we ask them to post their pictures in the Lifestyle Facebook group. And in that group, I have the members have a chance to assess them, their faces based on those pictures. And they've also written a descriptive of what type they think they are. You can learn a lot about how people write and the way they express themselves in the written word. Actually, we express our type that way as well. And they all get to suggest what type they think this person is. And then after a few hours and several hundred comments, I come in and I confirm the type of that volunteer. And they're able to now truly see themselves. I don't like just telling people their type. I want to make it educational. I want people to learn from it. And people, our lifestyle members are getting more accurate at face profiling because of this practice that we have now twice a month in our lifestyle experience. So go to dressingyourtruth.com slash lifestyle. And if you need a little profiling support, you may be eligible. I've told you how. You can also email support at dressingyourtruth.com if you need more information. But facial profiling is so telling of who we are. Love your face. It's the most beautiful part of who you are. Love your eye. It, you know, when a woman's dressing her truth, we see her smile. We see the truth in her eyes. We get to see the beauty of who she, who she is. And I want that for you. So come join us and let's offer our best gifts to the world. Thanks for watching.